Squarespace scheduling tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be telling you about Squarespace scheduling software. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So if you already didn't know, Squarespace provides quite a lot of different options, quite a lot of different products as well. And one of those products is the scheduling software. And it's really easy and really helpful if you're trying to, you know, schedule your appointments and stuff like that. So first things first, one way over here. All you have to do is just simply click on try scheduling so that you can try it or you can go ahead and log in and start it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on start with scheduling over here at the bottom left corner. As you can see over here on the screen, simply click on it and it'll take you to this age where you simply have to just simply sign in with your email or Google options. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign in with Google because it's quite easier and it saves you quite a lot of time. I think I already had an account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in now. So once you've done that, just wait a couple of seconds for the scheduling trial to start. It can be fully finalized and now it's done. So over here, all you have to do is make scheduling. So over here, you just have to just enter in your business name and the industry it falls into. So already it says massage therapy. I think that's a pretty good example. So I'm going to go ahead and say John and John. And then we'll go ahead and enter in massage therapy or actually a barbershop. I think barbershop is much better. So once you've entered in that, just simply click on next. And over here, you have to set in your availability. So these are the times when people are able to book their appointments with you. So I'm going to go with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I think let's go ahead and change from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Okay, that's valid can we enter in as well tuesday we'll enter that and i'll enter in over here as well and then for thursday as well and then friday for as well i'm gonna leave the weekdays off and that's basically it so once you have set up your availability just simply click on next and over here you have what types of services do you offer so you have appointments and classes i have appointments i'm going to choose appointments and click on next and then over here you have to set up your first appointment types okay so these are the services that clients can book with you and you'll be able to do much better so for this service i'm gonna go ahead with a haircut and the price for the haircut can be like five dollars and the duration can be like 55 minutes and then click on next and now you have congratulations you've set it up now you can go ahead and let clients book themselves accept payments and sync your calendar so click on get started and there you go so as you can see over here at the top we've set up our availability we've created an appointment type now we have to customize our scheduling page and sync with other calendars so this is going to be our availability over here so as you can see monday tuesday wednesday so this is our calendar and then over here is our, all of our basic calendar settings now we can go ahead and add a new calendar as well but i think that this works pretty fine and over here on the left side you have rooms and resources what that basically means is that if we come over here it basically allows you to when you have more staff and things to appoint rely on like rooms or cars clients will see these resources are additional so basically if you have like you know if you have three rooms that your five people on staff can schedule into you can create a resource for rooms with a quantity of three so that only you and the people you add can know that these are the people that are going to be available in this specific room so clients will know that uh, manage your own people as well so now that we know this we have set up our calendar now let's go ahead and click on customizing our scheduling page so over here this is how it will look like so we can go with daily or monthly i think monthly would look pretty better yeah over here we get a preview of it let's go ahead and expand the preview so as you can see over here this is how it will look like and if we choose daily this is how it will look like daily uh, i think that monthly it works better okay so I think it, it's much cleaner and it makes more sense and then down below you have your business name and stuff like that and then you can go ahead and add in a logo or that you can go ahead and upload it over here just simply choose the file that you want to upload and that's basically it or you can create a logo over here as well so let's go ahead and create one just for the sake of this video if you wanted to know if they could then you can so as i said 
Our company names is John and John. We'll go ahead and paste it over here and click on next. We have symbols. So the logo maker is, you know, simple. Uh, let's go ahead and search for like a trimmer. Yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Okay, you can even add a tagline as well. The best of the best. I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, or we can choose this one. I think this one looks better. So this is going to be our logo as well. So we can save that logo and we can download that logo for free and we can choose whether we want it white or black or black and white uh, i think that you know black i think that white and black would look pretty good so we're going to go ahead and download that so now that we have our logo we can go ahead and upload that file as well so there we go we have now created a logo as well and now we can go ahead and write an instructions for basically you know scheduling instructions for our clients or for ourselves we should let's just write that so i've ri basically written that appointments should be made 50 minutes beforehand or let's just write 55 minutes beforehand because that's the total amount of time that i think a haircut could, would need sometimes it's you know uh, smaller you will also have a small so that you know if someone you know has a doesn't need a, quite a lot of work on it and uh, the barber is finished early then you have some separate rooms then you can go ahead and fit some other people in there that haven't made an appointment so i think that would be pretty nice and then week starts on monday time format is good general time and then you have you can require clients to choose their own time zone for booking i think we should add that as well and then you have source scan pro you can change the fonts you can change the background header text scheduling background and stuff like that so we'll just go ahead and add a black background over here we'll go with grayish black text and then we'll go with button accents are going to be red i think that looks pretty nice let's go ahead and expand the view a little bit so this is how it will look like i think it looks pretty clean it looks pretty nice we've got some red accent with black gray colors i think the aesthetically it looks pretty nice although the texts aren't that really you know visible so let me just go ahead and change the color as well we'll go with white let's see how it looks expand the preview yeah i think that's much much better i think we'll go with that so now that we've done that all we have to do is click on save changes and there we go we have done our where basically you know have made our own customization for our scheduling page we're done with that as you can see it looks pretty nice over here the logo as well and now what we can do header is not that good so maybe like we'll go with white so that we can see the logo as well and then we'll just go with a little bit darker over here the background yeah that looks much better in my opinion let's go ahead and save it as well and there we go next thing that we can need to do is sync our, our calendar or other calendars if we have one so we can connect our google calendar or our icloud lookout or outlook exchange whatever one we want just simply connect the google calendar with your google account and there you basically go now you have basically synced your uh calendar with your google account so now you will get notified as well can set your reminders over here as well so uh, as you can see it's pretty simple it's really easy to set up select whichever one you want so i'm going to choose this one i'll select the calendar you know you can create a calendar in your google account right now all i have is birthdays and holidays so i'm going to go with holidays for now and that is basically it all i have to do now is click on save and now you are basically done you've created a schedule you've created a calendar you've you know edited that schedule page that is how you basically use a squarespace scheduling program and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be happy to answer them and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye